Along the banks of the Cedar River rests a monolith of man-made waste slowly rising for decades. When historic floods ravaged Cedar Rapids in 2008, the pile grew larger, and an unlikely outdoor opportunity began to take shape. Amid our state's second largest metro area, the story of Mount Trashmore serves as a lesson in ingenuity and perseverance. Resting along the southern edge of Iowa's second most populous city, a large mound juts out along the horizon. Overlooking the Cedar River and the nearby Czech village in Cedar Rapids, this hill is intertwined with the history of this eastern Iowa Valley. For a half century, this mound, affectionately dubbed Mount Trashmore by local residents, was the final destination for the city's garbage and solid waste. Considered by many residents as an unsightly trash pile on the horizon, this man-made mountain reached its planned expiration date in the early 2000s. Landfills are often capped and monitored for decades by the Iowa DNR as the waste underneath breaks down and slowly emits methane. Our Mount Trashmore is a closed and capped landfill in Cedar Rapids, opened back in 1965. Uh, formerly was a quarry uh, that was used to take in garbage. We used to hear from folks all the time tell us, I actually drive down in there to drop off the garbage. And over the years, it's gone up and gone up. The region's trash would be shifted to a new facility northeast of Cedar Rapids, but an unexpected natural disaster would change everything. In the summer of 2008, a deluge of moisture upstream sent the Cedar River to record levels. The unprecedented rush of water flooded downtown, ravaged the historic Czech village, and decimated nearby neighborhoods. As devastating as the floods were, the reality of cleanup was far more impactful long term. River water was entrenched in buildings for days, meaning entire neighborhoods would require complete demolition. After years of local, state, and federal government negotiation with landowners, the enormous task of solid waste disposal became clear. Many of the neighborhoods stood at the foot of now closed Mount Trashmore. A state exemption allowed the Solid Waste Agency to reopen the landfill. It actually closed back in 2007, and then the floods of 2008 hit Cedar Rapids. And we realized for cleanup efforts, it'd be a lot faster if folks could use that location down there because it was right in the middle of all of it. Uh, we got permission from the governor of Iowa to reopen it. And then uh, for four years, from 2008 to 2012, it took in over 420,000 tons of uh, debris from the floods of 2008. An endless parade of dump trucks began trekking entire neighborhoods of debris up the hill. An incredible 430,000 additional tons of debris were added to the pile, raising the man-made mountain an additional 30 feet high before it was capped once again. So after the floods, uh, we're talking homes, uh, anything that basically was damaged by the floods. Uh, so many neighborhoods in Cedar Rapids just aren't there anymore. Just outside the gates of the landfill down there, the former landfill, uh, all the homes that were in the, the Czech Village area, those have been raised, you know, part of a green zone now. So we're, there's homes in there, there's businesses. Basically, it's uh, people's memories and their lives. A decade after the historic floods, a new recreation vision is taking shape on the infamous and highly visible landfill. The region's Solid Waste Agency has spearheaded an effort to transform a mountain of trash into a majestic overlook. Mount Trashmore can't be out of sight or out of mind. It is a vis visible reminder whenever you're in downtown Cedar Rapids, you look up and you can see it. So it's something that our board of directors has been thinking about for years. They knew that it was gonna be closing. And so, uh, you know, they had some plans talking about some different ideas. Uh, before the floods, there's actually a day that we let people uh, go ski down it and do some sledding, knowing that we couldn't really do that uh, realistically in the future, but just to show the people that there was gonna be a future use for it. But then when the floods hit, you know, that kind of all got put to the back burner because we had to do deal with the cleanup. But once it was closed and capped again in 2000. 12, uh, that was something that was a focus of our board right away. Like, how do we turn around and make this, you know, this destination in Cedar Rapids, this, this something that you can't miss? How do we make this something that, for the public, that we can use, make it accessible, and uh, make it something that can be part of the community? The new Mount Trashmore will have winding walking trails up to what some locals call the best view of Cedar Rapids. Plans are underway to build mountain bike trails for area adrenaline junkies to mix with the casual outdoor explorer seeking a photogenic moment. 
Uh, we have our scenic overlook that's at the top of it with a pergola uh, overlooking uh, the Cedar River, beautiful view of downtown Cedar Rapids. And right now construction is underway on the trail system. So there's gonna be a walking trail, a 5,000 foot walking trail that will go from the base, work its way up to the top. And then we also have a service road that people will either walk or take their bikes up to the top. And once they get up there, there's gonna be what's called a flow trail for bicyclists to go back down. And it's gonna be a green level flow trail. So uh, not quite the basic, not the most advanced, but uh, it'll be a fun ride for the bicyclists. The landfill is permanently closed now, and pipes surrounding the giant mound will emit methane for decades to come. But planners hope Mount Trashmore becomes one of the liveliest spots in the entire Cedar River Valley. This will be a chance for the community, for the people who did lose those things in the flood. They can come back in there and they can see, yeah, we, we left a lot of things in the past, but the future's very bright. Mount Trashmore may be the clearest sign yet of a city coming to grips with a natural disaster and turning a nightmare into a public park a mountain of trash that serves as a monument to history with a practical purpose. Only in Cedar Rapids can you stand on the garbage of the past half century, enjoy the sights and sounds of nature, and take in the best view in town.